Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. It's Friday night, it's low alcohol beer night, but which one are we going for? It's this one. It is the Lowdown from the Hop Foundry and it's available in Aldi for about 79p a can. And it says it's at 0.5% ABV and it describes itself somewhere as an IPL. Uh, it doesn't actually go into any details as to what that means, but we all know it's an India Pale Lager. Um, and it says not a lot on the can, let's be honest. It's got the uh, the Know Your Limits. It says that the UK Chief Medical Officers don't recommend more than 14 units a week. Uh, and that one can is 0.2 units. And uh, yeah, you've got the usual ingredients of water, malted barley, hops, oats and yeast. And uh, bugger all else, really. You've got your standard legal nutritional information. And that's it. Now, the can artwork kind of familiar-ish in terms of the colour scheme maybe. Um, Aldi tend to mimic a lot of other brewers shall we say and they did um, was it the IPA that was very much punk influenced and this one might be forgiven for being confused with the old uh, nanny state maybe with the green. So maybe let's see what we get when we get it out and into a glass and see if it tastes anything remotely like it. So we're pouring into the AF Beer Club glass today. The pour is nothing like Nanny State in terms of colour. It's clearly a lager, whereas Nanny State is more a pale ale. And we've got too many bubbles on this glass. Oh, apologies. So it looks like a lager. It's light gold in colour. Uh, it's clear as a bell. You've got a white voluminous head that is fading fairly quickly, but that's par for the course with alcohol-free beers, I find. And uh, otherwise, yeah, it looks quite thin and watery otherwise. But yeah, otherwise it just looks like a lager. Let's have a whiff. It smells like a lager, but perhaps a little bit more hoppy. Not your classic lager hops. More citrus than, uh, than a lager, really. A little bit of tropical actually. Yeah, citrus, a little bit of pineapple. Interesting, not what I'd expect, but then again, it is an IPL. Who knows? Anyway, taste, cheers. I was right, it's thin. Very thin. Flavours though, you're right. It's not lager as you know it. There are those tropical little bursts popping through. And then there's a malt behind it. It's balanced. I will say that. I'll be honest. But it doesn't taste like a lager at all. It's sweet, slightly tropical, malty on the back end, thin. light on the flavour, you know, it's not it's not punching you in the face, but at the same time you're not looking for it, it's just light. It's pleasant enough, it's, yeah, where's, where's the finish though? There is not much finish. Carbonation is quite strong. The mouthfeel is soft and velvety. But yeah, the finish is, is a little bit of sweet malt. That's pretty much it. So, before I give it my scores, we're going to go to the Aid Memoir of Untapped, which says the lowdown has had 741 check-ins and an average of all the twos, 2.22, um, which may be a little low. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to my scoreboard of joy, which is currently empty, and give it the usual five pillars of judgment, which is the looks, the aroma, the body, the taste, and the finish. Looks wise, it looks like a lager, albeit without any head now, because that dissipated to nothing very, very quickly. Uh, it's clear, light gold. It looks like a lager. Can I really fault it massively? Not really. It's not It's not the most exciting looking beer, um, but it looks like a lager should. I'm gonna give it the 0.75. Um, if it had head retention, I'd give it more. The aroma, again, is not what I expect on a lager. I look for 
grassy hops, I look for that little bit of sort of green. I look for something that's not this really, uh, but it's nice. I like what it is. It's tropical and a little bit of malt in the background. It's just quite light. And, you know, it's, it's pretty decent on the aroma. It gives you a clue what to expect on the taste. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Is it perfect? No, it's not. Um, but it is good. You know, it's it's good. I'm gonna give it the point five. The body is thin. It's thinner than I would expect for a lager in general, alcohol free or otherwise. And this is the most disappointing part of the beer overall. Um, it's not absolutely ridiculously bad that I'll never drink it again. You know, which would give it a zero. It's just not very good at all. It's it's okay. And OK gets it a 0.25. The taste, again, is not what I expected a lager. You know, the look it looks like a lager, it does not smell like a lager, and it certainly doesn't taste like one either. With those hints of pineapple and, dare I say it, a little bit of citrus, followed up by a malt, it's much closer in flavour profile to a regular pale ale than it is an IPL. I like it. It's light-ish, um, but yeah, it could be stronger, could be more authentic, could have a little bit of green grassy sars in there. Um, alas, it's not. I like it though. Do I like it a lot? It's okay. Good. It's good. It's good. I'm going to give it the 0. 0.5. And the finish. You know, there's none of that sort of spiciness, no herbal nature that I sometimes get from those grassy hops. It's malt and it's sweet. It's not particularly long and it fades into something quite insipid quite quickly. Um, it's it's actually somewhere between okay and good, um, but giving the fact that I go 0.25 for okay and 0.5 for good, I haven't really got a lot of wiggle room. I'm going to err on the side of caution and be a little bit more generous because it's Friday night and I'm feeling it. I'm going to give it the half, which means we've got one 2.5 out of 5 on the untapped scoreboard of joy, which is slightly higher than the 2.22 average score that all those 741 people have given it so far. But yeah, you know, it's not lager as you know it, but if you want something that's low alcohol, available in your local Aldi, and is ridiculously cheap per can, then you can do an awful lot worse than the lowdown. Is it one I'll buy again? Possibly if I'm passing, but I don't go into Aldi very often. Um, but there are infinitely better options with more flavour out there for not an awful lot more money. Um, but when push comes to a shove, if you just want something sweet, you could go for it quite happily. So there we are. The lowdown from the Hot Foundry in Aldi. 79p a can. That's been the beer. I've been Nick. Those down there are the buttons, you know exactly what to do with them by now. You've got like, comment, dislike and subscribe. Do let me know if you've tried it before in the comments section below. And I will see you again soon. Bye.